Hey guys, Chris and I want to talk to you about two very important things, humidity and moisture. Ew, you said moist. <laughs> We're going to give you some tips on how to avoid condensation and humidity in your trailer. To help reduce moisture and humidity in your trailer, when you're doing dishes or cooking, you wanna be mindful of that. What we did is we bought a dehumidifier from Costco. This one is a little overkill for the trailer, but it does a great job. We run it when it's raining outside. We're in the south right now, so it does get pretty humid. And when we're taking a shower. Speaking of the shower, this is one of the areas where you're gonna get the most moisture in your trailer. You gotta be very mindful of how you operate in the bathroom. What we do is we shut both of our doors, we open up our max air vent and run this full blast. We have this little baby dehumidifier that we run and we do all of this every time we're showering and have it on until there's no more moisture or condensation on the mirror or on the glass. That will make sure that everything in here stays in here and you're not introducing the moisture inside your trailer. We also hang the towels up in here in order to keep the moisture down and kind of keep everything isolated to one area. It also makes sure that they dry and they don't get stinky. Nobody likes a funky towel. <laughs> and I know you're what you're thinking. If it's raining outside, you can't have your vent open. We have a solution for that. We haven't put it up yet, but we're getting ready to. This is the Max Air Fan Mate. And the Max Air Fan Mate goes on top of the vent on the roof and will allow you to open up your vent and exhaust out any water or condensation or heat, whatever you need to do, but it won't let anything back in so you won't get rained on. Really important to do if you're running your heater. That's another thing you gotta think about is your propane heater will actually introduce quite a bit of condensation into your trailer. So venting is really important in cold environments and hot environments. So keep a vent open in a cold environment so that you can allow some of that heat to rise and get out of your trailer and that'll keep and reduce the amount of moisture that you get on your windows. When you wake up in the morning and you have that condensation on your windows, the combination of a venting and a dehumidifier will eliminate most of those problems. An item that is an absolute must no matter how often you use your trailer is a den dry. What that is is a, a mat that goes underneath your bed. You as a human being generate so much heat that the moisture will actually go through your mattress onto the plywood base and cause mold on your base of your bed. Nasty. So, den dry. This little mat here is extremely thick. These are hard and it keeps a vapor barrier between your wood and your den dry. And I'll show you underneath ours. Looks brand new from day one. Absolute must have to reduce problems in your trailer. You have a couple things, in our case three, that are built into our trailer that also help with condensation and humidity. The air conditioners, being that we are chasing that 70 degree magic weather and we've been hanging out in the south, we run our ACs pretty frequently. They do a really good job of reducing the amount of moisture that is in the coach. The other thing you have to put into play is a dehumidifier, a process to remove the moisture out of the shower like we talked about, and I can't stress enough, a dendry or a mat underneath your bed. When you combine all these things together, you're gonna do the best you can to keep moisture out of your trailer. We all wanna be a fun guy, but none of us wanna live with fun guy. Hashtag dad jokes. These are some of the tips and tricks that we use to keep moisture and humidity out of our RV. Now go check out the master bedroom modifications video and then you'll see exactly how you install a Dendry and we explain more about why it's so important to have that item.